What's good everyone, it's Adam from Armies Mobile. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to show you a tried and true tested way to sort of get your beat started using a chord progression that many producers use in the game. So let's get to it. First things first, let's go and just load up a piano in Logic Pro. I'm gonna start off with a two chord progression that is used quite a bit. Travis Scott uses this a lot. It's pretty much a famous chord progression for trap producers to use. It's the one for progression. So if you ever get stuck on how to start your beats, use this progression. So we're gonna use the key of A minor because it's easy to do, and then we can go ahead and transpose it to a different scale later. A minor, if you don't know, is all of the white key. So any note in the white key, you're playing the right note in the scale of A minor. So if I say play a one four chord, the one chord is gonna be the first note in the scale, which is A. To draw out that minor chord, we're gonna count up three from our root note and then four from our second note. Now we've made A minor. So that is our one chord. Now let's go ahead and draw in our four chord. So all we gotta do is once again, just look at the white keys. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. So there's my root note. It's gonna be a D minor. Once again, count up three from the root note and four from the second note. Now we can go ahead and just duplicate that pattern because a lot of songs just pretty much use two chords and this could get you started. That could get a little bit boring. Uh, first thing maybe you wanna do is make this sort of chord progression a little bit more realistic and playable. So I'm gonna take these top notes and just shift it down one full octave, shift option down arrow. And now this is a more playable type of chord progression as if you were playing it on the keys. Next thing we can do is add a little bit of rhythm to this chord progression rather than just hitting on the ones. So we can go ahead and stretch this out. Let's go ahead and speed up the tempo a bit. All right, so now you got a basic chord progression with a little bit of rhythm to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in some drums so we can just get the idea here. Let's go over to our 2023 kit for the clap. I'll just put it on the three. I'm gonna change it to 32 steps. An easy way to make your tracks tra claps a little bit more, not so staticky. It's just just the vo velocity. And what I like to do is just bring the velocity on the first one and the second one will be louder. Just adds a little bit more emphasis on the second one. And then for the hi-hats, we can go ahead and just draw in a quick two-step pattern. And to make that more realistic, we can go ahead to our velocity and just sort of drag something like this. So that is different levels of velocity for every note. Then we can go ahead and bring in an 808. Just copy this basic pattern, right? So we got a basic sort of foundation to our beat right there. We can go ahead and change keys if we like. For say, for instance, we can go ahead and transpose this up to a C minor. So we got to push this up one, two, three semitones. So option, arrow up, one, two, three. And now we are in C minor. And the second chord is an F minor, which is the one, four in the key of C minor. And we got to do the same thing with our 808. So feel free to play around with different sort of pitches and transposing your beats to sort of fit in a different scale because sometimes it may sound better in a different scale or fit better for a certain artist. So now we just transpose that over to the key of C minor and this is what it sounds like. So that chord progression may be a little bit stale and boring. What we can do is go ahead and create an arpeggiation to this chord progression. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in this scissor tool right here. What I'm gonna do here is hold down the option key and I'm gonna use my scissor tool and that's gonna chop it up into the increments that I've set. So I want to do it at eighth notes. I did just that. Let's go ahead and do the same here and same here. Now we can go ahead and create like a melody thing or arpeggiation pattern with these chords. So we can go ahead and delete that, start off with the one, go up to there, take that one out. For this one, we'll take that. Uh, let's see here, let's go like this. And this is how we can create a melody or an arpeggiation pattern off of our chords that we just put in. Maybe for the end of this pattern, I'm just gonna go down. 
it. Now we can go ahead and use just top notes that are just basically the same notes that are in our chord. So we'll go C. We can just do something basic like that. We're gonna add in some accidental notes in here. We can go ahead and change the sound a little bit here. Make a little bit of a pluck. We can also go ahead and give our top line or lead line a melody to it as well. And then to get things a little bit spicier, we can go ahead and change up the sound. We can go to pad synthesizer let's go to pad i'd like to put some pads on these types of patterns and um let's go to let's just pick a random one here the celestial organ Doesn't sound half bad oh. and we can go ahead and add in some half time on this and just build on that pattern Then you can go ahead and take that pattern and go ahead and just bounce that in place and then play around with it. Maybe you, if you want, you can go ahead and reverse that. Right, and just build off of that melody, just make it more unique to you. We can go ahead and add another halftime, see how that sounds. that's pretty much all there is to it you start off with that simple one four chord progression and just build off of that until you get something you like if you do have any questions on this we can go and chat in the comment section below thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one later peace